Hi there, Brian McNichols here, and I am in Disneyland Park in Anaheim, California. And this list is all about the attractions that they have at both Disneyland and in the Magic Kingdom in Florida, but they're just better here. And coming in at number five, this right here, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Now, most of it's pretty similar, but the part where you go through the cave where it kind of explodes, you have these really cool fuse effects that run up the wall before the explosion. Uh, and that technically makes it better. It's still a good ride. Wildest ride in the wilderness. At number four is Space Mountain back there. I know from here it looks exactly the same, but inside it's quite a bit different. There's only one track for one thing, and it's way, way smoother. The seating arrangement is also dis different. It is two people across instead of one, one, one. And because of that one track, it's a bigger roller coaster, and it's more like a, 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 a real roller coaster than the Wild Mouse that we have at the Magic Kingdom in Disney World. This one still makes me a little loopy, but not nearly as much as the one in the Magic Kingdom. I like this one quite a bit, especially when they do the overlays, like Ghost Galaxy, which they do in the fall, or Hyperspace Mountain that they do whenever they feel like promoting Star Wars. All right, here's a bonus one for you. Buzz Lightyear's Astro Blasters in Tomorrowland here in Disneyland. It's not really any different than Buzz Lightyear's Space Ranger Spin in Tomorrowland in the Magic Kingdom, except you get to pick the guns up, which makes it much easier to shoot. You can kind of turn sideways if you need to. So if the person steering your car is not doing a very good job or is one of my kids and just likes to spin you around, you can just kind of still turn and shoot. It, it's not a big upgrade, but it's kind of a big upgrade. It makes a big difference. At number three, I am in Fantasyland and the Mad Tea Party. Now, yeah, I know it's the same ride, but look, there's no roof. And that makes it better. Why? It just does, especially at night. It is beautifully lit out here. You are under the sky, under the stars, if you could see the stars. And it... But just being out in the elements makes it better. Number two here is It's a Small World. This one is definitely better here for a lot of reasons. The one that people wouldn't necessarily agree with is that they have characters inside. So you will actually see Disney characters in that Mary Blair style in with the other children of the world. Now, I realize not everybody likes that, but you know what my kids really do. One thing that everybody likes is this facade. Another thing that makes it better, you load outside. This is the loading and unloading area. I just love in California that they are able to do that. Uh, they actually do it in Disneyland Paris too, which maybe doesn't make as much sense there, but you just can't do it in Florida. You wouldn't be able to run the ride, you know, during the midday thunderstorms every day. But It's a Small World is a Disney classic, and this It's a Small World is the Disney classic, which is why it's number two on this list. And this will come as no surprise to any who have been on both versions, but the number one thing that is better here than it is in Florida is Pirates of the Caribbean. For one, it is in the beautiful New Orleans Square. It has this nice tree-shaded courtyard with a fountain. Above that, it's, well, it's longer. There's extra scenes in this one. There's a talking parrot that you see in line and then again on the end of the attraction. There's more caves. It's just, it's, it's just better. It is a very long ride here, and some of the extra stuff really helps set the mood of the story. I love this version of Pirates. Uh, I love the other version of Pirates too, but this one's just better. But well, thank you very much for watching. We get some to each other.